So I'm about 15 miles away from the park, uh, from uh, the Grand Canyon. I'm in uh, Kebab National Forest right now. This is uh, crazy that I'm getting ready to see something amazing because right now it's just flat. Really, really, really flat. But then again, it is a canyon, which means it goes down. So I guess it makes sense. We'll see. at the rim and it is absolutely amazing um yeah definitely not too many things like this in the world I had to check out the uh, Grand Canyon first. Now I'm gonna head over to the Backcountry Permit Visitor Center to see if I can get a pass to go down to the bottom today. Uh, if not, there are a ton of free dispersed camping spots around here, so I'm not too worried. I'm gonna have a good time. There's tons of day hikes. It's gonna be fantastic. Well, unfortunately, the Backcountry Pass Center is closed, so um, they have a, a um, routine I guess that you could go online and email them and ask for a pass but by the time I would get something back it would probably be afternoon before I heard anything because it's first come first serve who knows how many people are in front of me um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the South Khabib trailhead and I'm gonna go do the day hike down to ah point and Cedar Ridge and uh, something else so it's gonna be hotter than crap but I'm gonna take a lot of water I didn't bring my day pack so i'm gonna carry my big pack it'll be good practice for me for the at trail so pretty excited gonna see what's happening so it only takes a shuttle down to the trailhead so i had to park in the road and now i'm walking down towards the trailhead no idea how far but i guess we'll see point I don't know if you can see that down there and that canyon just drops off look at this view
I started right up there. And I still got further to go down. Yeah, nothing. Right. I came down about three miles. I'm gonna turn around and go back up. It's a long ways back up in these three miles. And I left my sticks where I stopped and ate lunch, so I hope they're still there. Don't forget your sticks, Brian. I don't know if you can see. Right, the trail goes right along there and cuts around. There's your ADSC right there. Don't leave your hiking poles behind, Brandon. You're lucky they're here. All right, kids, this is your PSA. If you don't know what that is, it's your public service announcement. Hydration here is major. Drink your water. If you don't drink water, you will not make it. I only went down three miles. I haven't even gone up very far. This is killer. And it's not even that hot. Yeah. Oh, so now I'm here at back at uh, Cedar Ridge. Um, yeah, it took me an hour to get to this point. And it only took me probably 20 minutes to get down there. So it took me probably 20 minutes between each stop. So I'm guessing it's going to take me about an hour to get back up. Unless I'll be getting to better shape before I get to the top, which I highly doubt. So I'm going to be uh, enjoying these breaks and checking out the scenery and trying to find some shade. So right up there is where I'm going. See the people? That's where we're headed. Pictures do not do this place justice.
So I've just finished going down to Skeleton Point, I believe it was, or Skeleton's View or something like that. So in all, I did, whoa, got some trees. I did, uh, first they went down to, oh hell, I don't know, I'll tell you later, but fantastic. Three miles down, three miles up, like 1,300 feet elevation. So there you go. So right down there is where I was, right behind that. Starting from up there. Went to ooh, ah, Point, and then Cedar Ridge, and then Skeleton View, or Skeleton Point, or something. So today we saw some more signs. Um, saw a mule door sign. We saw a horse and carriage sign. We saw a, oh goodness, we saw a cougar or I'm not sure what it was, but it was a cat sign. Um, mule deer, some other kind of deer, mule, horse and rider. I think that's it for the day. It's crazy. It, it really is crazy the amount of signs that uh, you see. Um, so, uh, today was a long day, but it was worth every bit of it. Um, I'm pretty tired. Got a fire going. It's awesome. So, uh, yeah, I got a nice dispersed camping spot. A guy told me that last night he got down to 20. So, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Uh, I think I'm pretty alone out here. I, I, I know there's people that are close by, but I think in my my general vicinity, I'm pretty I'm pretty alone, which is nice. Uh, don't have to worry about anything. I put a tent up. I'm gonna stay here for two nights. So tomorrow I want to go to Bright Angel. Um, not all of it, but I'm gonna go down and do some Bright Angel. Go down, come back up, and then there's a drive I saw too. I want to do the drive. But 
this place is humongous. It, it took me long enough to get from where I was watching the sunset back to my campsite and the stars are already out. So, um, yeah, great day. Good to be in the canyon.